Holy shit, that was so bad. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for House of Cards Season 6. Now you might be wondering, why is this the first thing I'm reviewing in my new place? As we were moving into this place, I actually was watching it because I've held off on Season 6 for the longest fucking time. Season 5 was so eh that it just continued this whole facade of dragging out one entire year far too long. But I've held off on it and I thought, whatever, it's eight episodes, it's not gonna kill me. Holy crap, it almost does. It doesn't start off terrible. I believe that what they tried to do, obviously with the situation they were put in with Kevin Spacey being fired because of things, Robin Wright essentially takes Spacey's place. Her story is essentially what Frank's would have been had she been the same character she was before. I'm kind of curious as to what the actual final season was going to be because the last three seasons, season three to five, were just one singular drawn out thing. The first two seasons were solid. They were great pacing. They pretty much were a year encapsulated. And then all of a sudden they decide to start dragging out one entire year. And you see that in this last season horribly. She somehow gets pregnant and it's apparently Frank's kid, but they never had sex. I don't know whose it is. And they don't really do a good job of establishing a lot of things. And funny enough for a show that's about evil politicians, they try to use feminism in a way that I don't know whether it's trying to forward it because it ultimately backfires on it because it's just showing her how she's abusing it. I don't know what they were trying to do with that angle. I, I love Robin Wright. She's still really good, even if the writing and the storytelling is really stupid. I really enjoyed seeing Doug Stamper back, who, by the way, gets fucked over. The story is just so over the top in terms of what was previously done in the show. She does everything but pull the trigger, and she has a higher body count than Frank does by the end of this one season. Just the blatancy of it and the hypocrisy of the show's initial idea. Again, I know that they barely had any time to throw something together and they still try apparently to be loyal to the original BBC series, especially with the ending, even if it is a giant slap in the fucking face of what the ending is. But by God, is this a terrible season finale. It's one of the worst season finales I've ever seen. The season itself, is it worth all of the below 5 out of 10 ratings that everyone's given? Like, I think one of the highest ratings on IMDb is like a 4.3. I don't think it's that bad, at least at the start, but then it just starts to go downhill. We keep repeating the same story elements I've just been hammered to death by now. It, it just loses all muster. It has nothing left until the very last episode, which feels like a pre-season finale because of how many goddamn cliffhangers there are. Who the hell is the father of the actual child? Is Claire gonna set off goddamn nuclear weapons to start a war with Russia because? Is the story about Underwood and going to be released? What about what Doug left on the table? Why does no one kick in the door when Doug puts a knife to Claire's throat and then she just stabs him and still the Secret Service are all just standing outside the room? The ending with what she says, no more pain, it makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense that it's Doug who dies. The Stamper character died in the BBC series, but he didn't die like this, and it was supposed to be Frank. It was supposed to be Frank on the floor dying. You can see that clear as day. Claire clearly is still supposed to be the person who killed him, but it still makes no fucking sense. You can't just let the tyrannical character win and then have all these cliffhangers of what on earth is going to happen. Also, the Diane Lane and the Greg Kinnear character are just so forced into this season. They literally are a rehash of the second season villain, the oil tycoon guy. Honestly, I'm very, very disappointed with how this season ended. I'm very disappointed with how the show came to its conclusion, considering this was the first Netflix original series. This was the first one, and it goes out like a wet shit. It's, it's so disgusting how terrible this show ends on, considering the absolute peak it set for itself. I knew people who were going after the DVDs of this season because they didn't have a Netflix subscription yet. And this is how it ends. This is terrible. So in the end, I'm gonna give House of Cards season six, a two out of seven. 
All right, guys, so um, this will be set up eventually, I promise. But uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, sorry for the delay. Figuring out where we're going to put the camera and everything still. So anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.